Welcome to Becky's Chinese Calligraphy Lesson. Li Shu. My name is Becky, and her name is Jinjin. Jinjin, say hi to everyone. Okay, so before we really start our course, we have to make some preparation. First, we have to make it clear what is our goal of taking this course. Do you think you can be a Chinese calligraphy master after taking this course? Of course not. I'm not a master either. So, what is our goal? Our goal is just to experience the beauty, the philosophy, or even the culture that hide in this book, Cao Zhenbei. Writing Chinese calligraphy is more about an experience, is not a result. So, in different time of your life, you will have different understanding of the same calligraphy book. So, at that time, you will have a different feeling about this. So now you just need to experience and enjoy the real moment at this time. Maybe after two years or after five years, when you look back, you will think, "Oh, I was so stupid at that time," or you may think, "Oh, I like that myself at that time." You can see what you were after a few years. So in this course, I'm going to share with you the three typical basic jokes in Cao Qianbei and the three contrast that hide it in this book. You know, contrast exists anywhere, especially in Chinese culture. Yin and Yang plays a very important role in Chinese culture. When it reflects in Chinese calligraphy, it's contrast in everywhere. And what materials do we need? First, you will need a calligraphy book, Cao Qianbei. You may can buy it on Amazon, but I will offer you the several characters that I show you in this course. And then you need a calligraphy brush. This brush is about three centimeters. So basically, you don't need a too short or too long brush. It's a yellow whistle hair or mixture. Okay. Then we may need two bowls. There are some typical bowls for Chinese calligraphy. One for holding water, which we call bi xi, is for hold the clean water to wash your brush. And this one is for the ink. So if you can find something special, uh, for the ink and the water in Chinatown, you can use that. For me, I just want to make it easy. I use like a normal bowl. But this one is especially for、uh, wash the brush, and of course we need some paper. And for paper, I recommend you to use 手工毛编纸 which means handmade、uh, calligraphy practice paper. For how to choose the brush and paper, I already make some videos on my YouTube channel Wu Chinese Art Gallery. And also in my Chinese calligraphy lessons for beginners, so you can check out those videos、uh, on the tips、uh, of how to buy these materials. Okay, now let's begin our real first lesson. <laughs> 